Hello and welcome to another WinPilot software tutorial. Today we are going to show you how you can manage your batch information and adapt your batch information window in the WinPilot software. To start, let's open one batch. In this batch window, you will see different widgets with different information about your batch. You may deactivate or activate these widgets up here, depending on your needs and preferences. Each of these widget windows can be adapted individually to fit your screen size and personal preferences. If you, for example, do not need the analysis data up front, you may slide that window further down and slide the measurements widget further up instead, and then customize this batch information screen accordingly. I'll briefly explain the different widgets. So first of all, we have the basic batch information. Then there is a widget for the temperature control. There is a widget for work orders that are associated with this batch. So you see them down here. Then we have a measurements widget, meaning the fermentation and temperature curve right here. You can also deactivate or activate the analysis widget. And then there are also widgets for pump over, pulse air, the events. So a documentation of everything that has been done in this batch. And there is a widget for protocols and micro-macro oxygenation. Up here on the right side, you can take different actions. First of all, you can refresh the window. Here you can blend this batch with another wine. You can export the batch information to a PDF file. And you can select what kind of information shall be included in the PDF. Furthermore, you can choose to wreck the batch or split it. You can change the volume, add a treatment agent, issue a new work order, use the shortcut to add a density measurement, or finally mark the batch as finished. All right, so this was it for the batch information window. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us either in the comment section below or write us an email at service at See you next time.